In this video, I will show you how to use the GitHub to manage your code. So you just go to uh, https uh, github.com. You can register an account. And for example, I already registered an account. I also create several project here for myself. So for the tools, you can download a call GitHub for Windows. You can download this GitHub for Windows. I will download it, download local so you can manage the code from local and push it to the GitHub. So I already downloaded it, so I click this GitHub.com. So now I open, go to my manage uh, here, find the GitHub, and I open it. We just kind of probably need to wait a, a few seconds to run. So after you open the GitHub in the Windows, you can see here you list the local several project you already have. Here, you can create use the create tools, create a project name. I put you can find it here in this directory manager or GitHub. You also can push to the GitHub or keep this code private, push to here and synchronize. So, for example, I put here. Uh, PHP EXAMPI example new project created. And you can see here, you can see the PHP example created. You can open this repository and this one. So, for example, you can use tools. The set of setting you can open a shell. Then op I will open this shell is exactly as a Linux shell. You can type yeah it's running called Windows PowerShell. You can type for example git version give you git version. So you get it on the command line here. You also use mass switch to, to branch. You can also copy file to this directory. And publish this one. And you can make a commit change here. So we never know I have two git files, basic one, I can publish. It's a publishing. You wish to click this one, you show the content here. Fail to publish. Okay. Because it's a commit message required. Test. Commit first. Then I could publish. So after publishing, let's go to the my GitHub reload it. You can see here there's a PHP example. These two files. And in in the local you can also add another file and click publish. And you can see the new file here. So another thing is, uh, you can put this one. Click for example, if your GitHub name is James and Louis, your name here. This GitHub, you can create this one. After create this one, you will directly insert, access your index. You will just type your web address. It work. 